Hi, this is Jim Ingersoll, and I want to talk to you about a hot topic in today's real estate market, and that's wholesaling houses. You know, in all other industries, it's not uncommon to wholesale something, whether it's through distribution or whatever, but normally when people think of real estate, they never think of wholesaling, because the typical way to buy a house is to go find a realtor, and then go get a bank loan, and then buy the house. But uh, for investors, there's a, there's a very interesting and unique niche market available to um, wholesale a house and it works very easily and what I'm going to do today in this video is show you the basic structure of how it works. So what is wholesaling houses? When you hear somebody say I'm a wholesaler, I like to wholesale real estate, what the heck does that mean? Well basically it means you're selling houses you don't own yet with money you don't have. Now doesn't that sound good? If you could do that wouldn't it be almost like printing your own your own money as you go? because you're creating cash out of a transaction without spending any money on real estate that's a good deal it's a uh, living life in the middle of as many real estate transactions as you possibly can and creating cash flow opportunities for you working directly with motivated sellers and working directly with investors who could be cash buyers for you and the key is getting into the middle of that transaction between a motivated seller and a cash buyer if you're able to put the two pieces together, you will be wholesaling houses and earning a nice fee as you go along. By the way, my name is Jim Ingersoll. I'm happy that you tuned in today. I'm an author of two books. The first one was Investing Now, and the second one being released May 3rd of 2012 is called Cash Flow Now, and, and, and I have an entire chapter focused on wholesaling. So I'm, I'm a real estate entrepreneur. I've wholesaled hundreds of houses, bought and sold lots of houses, and uh, I'm a coach as well. You can check my website at investingnownetwork.com. All right, what is wholesaling houses? Why would you ever want to wholesale a house anyways? Well, houses at the end of the day are still expensive, and your checking account is a little light to buy them direct. So if a house is even $60,000, a lot of starting investors and newbie investors don't have that much money in their checking account, and they can't go buy a house. So how can they find a way, a niche market, to make some money in the real estate market? Because their checkbook is light. They don't have the $60,000 to go buy a two or three bedroom house today. Oh, I also forgot most newbie investors and um, frankly new people starting out, they don't have a lot of cash at all, let alone credit. The credit could be damaged, it could be a little tight, could be a little bit low, maybe they had a problem in the past. Um, but those people without cash or credit can also become really good wholesalers um, because all they do is get in the middle of the deal. Also, uh, one of the reasons I like wholesaling houses is it minimizes your risk. Um, everybody needs more cash for something. What is your need? Do you need money to pay down your debt, to help cover a job loss? You were looking at retirement, college, quitting your job, J-O-B, what is it? For me, wholesaling allowed me to leave corporate America, jump off the, uh, the corporate ladder of success, and, and go into real estate full time. The bottom line is if you're looking to create cash flow without cash and without much credit, wholesaling really is a great option for you. So what is it? I said you got to get into the middle of as many deals as you can. So there's basically four steps to wholesaling a house. So you need to understand that you've got to learn to earn and in wholesaling you've got to learn to earn by being a real estate wheeler dealer if you enjoy um, negotiating and you enjoy meeting with people that you can buy a house from and you enjoy meeting with people you can sell a house to then this is this is a great niche market for you the first step is to find a motivated seller that has a house they have to sell has anybody seen a foreclosure to these days course everybody has there's vacant houses all over America it doesn't matter if you're on the West Coast the Midwest or the Northeast or the South or like me Richmond Virginia there's plenty of them here as well um, but there's motivated sellers all over the place as we come into the spring and summertime just start looking for the high grass like the one in this uh, picture right here is one in the Churchill area of Richmond Virginia notice the windows are boarded Maybe that's a good sign that the seller is motivated to sell. So, there's a lot of different ways on how to find motivated sellers. 
and uh, that's the first step. <coughs> Once you find the motivated seller, you've got to sign a contract with that motivated seller. Contract? Jim, that sounds so complicated. Why would I need to sign a contract? One of the keys to wholesaling really is controlling real estate without owning it. So you're going to make money on a wholesale deal without actually taking possession of that house in some cases. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. First is what's called an option contract. An option contract gives you the option but not the obligation to buy a house. Do you catch that? It's an option to buy the house but not a contractual obligation. A second way is a joint venture agreement between yourself and the owner where he agrees to allow you to market the house to other investors and you could just straight up write a contract to them as well. So what is it? The, the next step, the third step is to go out and market. Wholesaling is all about marketing. Just th remember these three letters, NSM. Do you know what they stand for? Never stop marketing. Never stop marketing. Repeat after me. Never stop marketing. You got to market to find the house, you got to market to sell the house. And you're going to be the wheeler dealer to make it happen. I know you can do it. Find an investor to buy your interest in that house. Do you have to sell the house? No. Sometimes you can just sell your option. Sometimes you can collect a, an assignment fee and sell your assignment. Other times you're going to want to sell the house. So there's some different types of wholesaling transactions that you can consider. And in my book, Cash Flow Now, I go through those. So you may want to catch a copy of that on Amazon. It's chapter 5. So you're going to want to build a buyer's list and know um, exactly what your buyers are looking for. You know, every other business in America, if you go to Best Buy or if you go to Macy's or wherever else, um, you're going to know what you want to buy and you're going to go up to the counter and buy it. Why should wholesaling houses be any different? You need to know exactly what your buyers want and deliver that house to them. If they want a house on the south side of where you live, it's a three bedroom, two bath house, it's a ranch style house, and you know the price they want and the condition they want, you should be able to deliver that house. One of the biggest keys for me when I got started is I kept wanting to go to the nice neighborhoods in the rural areas, areas like you and I might live. Um, but I soon found the key, the key to it is to wholesaling is to go to the cheap neighborhoods and go to the war zones and places like that that you can sell houses to investors that want to rent in those areas and maximize their return. So find an investor to buy your interest in that house and write another contract. So now you've got a contract with the buyer and you got one with the seller. See you're in the middle. You've got two contracts. And the difference between those two contracts is how you're making money. So finally, close the deal. There's some different ways that you can get yourself paid. First, you can sell the option and collect some money. You can sell the house and make some money. You can sell your assignment and make some money. The key is to make some money for yourself. And you got to get in the middle of the deal between the seller and the buyer and collect a fee. So now what? Now you know the basic foundation of wholesaling houses. How, and what is wholesaling houses? I hope you understand that now. Four simple steps. You need to continue to invest in yourself. How can you do that? Well, you may want to read my new book that's coming out May 3rd. It's called Cash Flow Now by Jim Ingersoll. Take a look at Chapter 5 on wholesaling. You also may want to train with a local mentor in your local area that is wholesaling who would be willing to train you. If you can't find a local mentor that you're comfortable working with, then consider joining our wholesaling mastermind group and work with me directly, Jim Ingersoll. We have a great group of uh, active wholesalers that are learning to do just this, and it's a lot of fun. If you're interested in my mastermind group and you want to work directly with me, go to my website, investingnownetwork.com, click on the coaching tab, complete the very short contact form at the bottom, and from there you and I will be in communication with each other directly. I'll tell you exactly how it works and I'll take you through these four steps of wholesaling in tremendous detail so that you can go out and make some money. 
want to connect further, if you do want to connect a little bit more, if you want to cons continue this conversation, then join me online. You can write on my wall at facebook.com backslash investing now. When you do that, you'll also get a uh, free special report that I have set up that you'll be able to download. If you like to tweet, then find me on Twitter at investforever. Um, I'm also on LinkedIn and Pinterest and all the other social spots on the internet. But the last spot you probably sh should check out is my main website, investingnownetwork.com. When you sign up for the newsletter, um, you automatically get a special report about buying houses without needing bank mortgages. Again, that is what wholesaling houses is all about, is about creating some cash flow without you needing cash or credit. Getting in the middle of as many deals as you can and creating some cash. I hope that worked for you. Leave me some comments. Consider sharing this video with your social media contacts. I greatly appreciate it as always and best of luck to you as you begin to wholesale some houses.